It's Michelle Linda Park, a Kianard Art School Green Falls. It's the largest secondary comprehensive school in North Lanarkshire Council and it is the sole provider of Gaelic medium education within secondary education. Fashkir Kiat Scholar in Akinye Aha a Jenner and Kutchfal on Tavina Gaelic. And part of our identity when we moved over into the new building was very much to focus on what it meant as a cultural thing for the school. So all of the signage within the school is bilingual. We felt that that was really, really important. And a huge feature of our school improvement plan is about a uh, Gaelic medium education. We make sure that we've got a separate target, a, a separate improvement planning part that's shared with the whole school. And we try and use assemblies to, to take features of, of Gaelic education and, and why we have it so that it's it's part of the whole culture of the school. I think the biggest thing was, was really to break down the break down the barriers in terms of people's understanding of what it was and why it was here. It's about the, the prospects of a child learning any language and obviously the, the, the assets that that brings. And if we've got that richness within the school, why as a school are we not using that? This isn't kid on in any way, shape or form. It's not an add on. This is a real core part of this school. If we really wanted Gaelic to have a, a proper identity within the school, and if we, we were really being true to, to what was the intent in terms of what we were, we were writing as an authority in our Gaelic uh, education plan, it was really, really important that the subject got its identity. And one of the things I struggled with in the early years uh, when I started here was that, that Gaelic was part of the Modern Languages Department. And the more I researched into to Gaelic and the difference between being a Gaelic learner and Gaelic medium education was that even if it had to have been tied to any department, I, I, it just didn't sit within Modern Languages. So for me, it was really important to create its own identity. And uh, I, I went to the authority with my proposal and, and, and got permission basically to establish it as a, a department within its own right in the school. And we were allowed to advertise for a principal teacher of Gaelic. And that really was fundamental in terms of the growth within the, within the department. We want people to understand and through understanding there comes, even in some cases it might be a reluctance acceptance, but usually through understanding you will get acceptance of what you do and why you do it. I think the bit in terms of, of, of the whole staff, it's about that exposition of Gaelic is not a language in the way that a, a child, in terms of the, the language provision in schools, it's not an L plus one, plus two, plus three. If children are, 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 if young people are coming up through Gaelic medium education, Gaelic is their first language. It's really, really important. It's a, it's a choice element for them and for their families. Because you just presumed that, that if children were learning, Gaelic medium education from the age of three, it was obviously because it was the language that was their native tongue and, and it was spoken at home. And for me, the reality that that wasn't the case, that, that was mind-blowing. So if it was a huge surprise to me, it must have been a surprise to the rest of the staff. So we were able to profile what Gaelic medium education was in North Lanarkshire and explain what the national plan for Gaelic was and how it was really exciting for us to be part of it, but why it was really important to give that richness across the broad general education of learning subjects through the medium of Gaelic because it's the same as other children learning English as a second language or whatever and we, we should have that richness and diversity there. And at first I, I do think staff were really sceptical about it because that prejudice, as I say, it's always when people's backs are against the wall and it's still, well, we've got small classes and, you know, they get funded, they, they can apply for, for bids for ring fence funding for Gaelic. And I, I'm afraid the, the tough the tough conversations, because it is tough realities, this is the framework within which we are trying to, to promote Gaelic education and we're trying to make sure that we give the best possible service to the young people in our care. So you work within the framework that exists in the same way as we do for any other aspect of the curriculum. And I wouldn't be a head teacher doing my job if I didn't maximise the opportunities that we had for young people in Gaelic. When people see it absolutely is for the good of the pupil, because we need to get it right for every child. That's not just something that applies to English stream schools. Getting it right for every child means GME as well. Leishkeville and Canada Ho Taiko. Leishkeville Berk and Lachet Eichke. I guess half this acre who are doing it. Grommish and a high, a high, a fach or cushion, tall as asking. Ha lichen less if he a sapage fatted shoe. Ha lichen less if he a genital curson a hash and cutum or curson a hash and fuse alum. Ha tosh coronary if he a genu and open a hack in you. 
Kunnen ze kalm dan ook met een perken doen? Hele. I think in the, the non-Gallic world, I've become a wee bit of an evangelist and I'm very, very proud of that. I can honestly say, as a, as a head teacher who was coming for an interview for the head teacher of, a, of another school within the same authority, I learned about it as part of my interview prep. I didn't learn for understanding. I learned about it because I knew that it was part of the school. Being part of the school and being immersed in that Gallic experience has, I'm really, really enthusiastic about the language. I'm enthusiastic about why it, it should exist. I fuse a the Gallic university. I the class. I guess a few of me, but I had to wish it well. I say, come on, call. And it's down to people like me or people who lead schools where Gallic Medium is available. We have to be out there and we have to make sure we do our very best by it because it's, it's part of the responsibility and it's a huge responsibility. So we need to grasp it with both hands.